It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back. What a weather roller coaster. It is, I think, like 35 degrees here. And now it's supposed to go up to like 65 this afternoon. And then it's supposed to be snowing in the morning. So we're just going to hide out in the house and talk about tropical. I'm going to do some reviews today. And um, I got to talk about the candle sale, you guys. Super excited. Uh, we actually have a decent candle sale going on. I feel like this is fairly similar. Um, to what we had before, only if you have a coupon, it's a little better deal. So a couple of days ago, we had uh, $16.95, um, which that's an okay deal. But Bath & Body Works was giving everyone the 20% off, so it brought them down to $13.56. So if you didn't have a coupon, which a lot of people don't, $13.56, not a bad deal. However, today, $13.95 minus 20%, uh, $11.16 if you have a coupon. So if you did have a coupon, the other day was actually a little bit better. If you have a coupon, today's a little bit better. So, um, you know, it all depends. And uh, by the way, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Amy. Amy sent me this beautiful card and she sent me um, a couple of coupons which I did use today. I used the 20% off. I'm so excited. So thank you so much for that, Amy. Um, I did get a couple of candles. I got, oh, here, wait, let me, let me get to my list here. Um, I got, I think I got yuzu and white pineapple. I want to try that one. I got the, um, Ebony Sands, that's new. And then I got Tutti Fruity Candy. So I got three more candles coming and I did order, uh, my first jungle rain in the mist because I had an app reward. So it, it's all good. It's coming. I don't know how I forgot that. I did go through my receipt yesterday and uh, it wasn't on there. I just must have goofed. I goofed. It happens. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about the candle sale today. It is a good deal. You're going to want to get your candles today for $13.95, even if you don't have a coupon, uh, because it's way better than $16.95. Um, you're going to want to like Anytime you get a Bath & Body Works candle in the $11 to $13 range, I feel like that's probably the best deal you're going to get. So unfortunately, um, there's not a lot of new ones. That's my only like kind of complaint is that I was hoping they would add more new. Um, they did add all of those um, neutrals, the vanilla and musk, yuzu and white pineapple, rose and lychee, palo santo and sage, and bergamot. And birch. I don't know if they're any good. Um, they usually, those, those aren't like ones that I typically gravitate to because you know I like the foodie and we are lacking in foodie candles for spring. I mean, nothing. So we've got white tea and sage. We've got bubbly rosé. We've got the new cocoa paradise, which I have somewhere on my desk in the mini. It smells good, but it's just like not my thing as much as the foodie candles. Um, one of my favorite candles right now that I own that I have to review is, where did it go? Oh my goodness, you guys. My pink pineapple sunrise. I've got such a mess on my desk. Uh, it's in this jar style. It's around here somewhere. Um, it might be behind me. Uh, pink pineapple sunrise. Uh, that's a good one. That's a fabulous candle. If you like the sweet, if you like the sugar. I just got Rainforest Gardenia uh, yesterday. I gotta say, these are the prettiest of the jars. Look, at there's a parrot on there or a macaw. I'm going to get it wrong and someone's going to say, that's not the right bird. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tropical bird, <laughs> but it's pretty. There's multiple tropical birds on here. And um, this one is actually uh, classic white gardenia, sweet apple water, bamboo, and white woods. I don't typically like gardenia. Uh, but mixed with everything else, it kind of does smell like an awesome tropical rainforest. So I like this one. This one's actually good. Um, the other ones that I have are Ocean Driftwood. This has got a lot of mahogany in it. It's not really up my alley, by the way. The lids are beautiful. And then I got um, Starfruit and Mandarin. I got to start reviewing these. I got so many candles to review. I didn't want to get too many candles because I still have to do all my Kringles. I got Goose Creek coming. I got homeworks. We got a lot of candles to talk about. Um, nothing new. I think the biggest issue right now is that we really don't have anything new. Watermelon um, and wild mint is new. It's not bad. It's just not like a wow new candle. I feel like it's like, yeah, it's not bad. I like it. I'll burn it this summer. Um, but it's not like spectacular for me. 
Ebony Sands is new. I've got that coming. Uh, but everything else is like a repackage. Tiki Beach, Fresh Bamboo, Blue Bungalow is supposed to be new. Um, Island Margarita, Waikiki Beach Coconut, Warm Ocean Breeze, Sweet Red Mango. A lot of people love Sweet Red Mango last year. Strawberry Daiquiri. I don't know why I did not like that candle. I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand, but um, it just didn't do anything for me. Sweet Carrot Cake is one of the only bakery candles in the group. So if you want bakery, go with Sweet Carrot Cake. Good time to pick up Easter. Tutti Fruity Candy. I got that one because I always like the Easter ones. Um, the Michael R. Carby ones up here are all sold out. Gone. Uh, Sunwash Citrus, Cactus Block and Blossom, Eucalyptus Rain and Beach Weather. They're gone. Among the Clouds and Radiant Sky. Radiant Sky, to me, is a better scent than Among the Clouds. I don't know. Among the Clouds doesn't smell like the body carrot to me. This one is Rays of Sunshine, Golden Mango, and Juicy Lychee. I like this one. This one's a good summer one, and I like the packaging. Um, Orange Pineapple Punch, not a bad candle. I'm just not overly thrilled right now uh, with what's going on um, with candles at Bath & Body Works. There's like nothing in the foodie arena. The Kringle Reserve candles are so more appealing to me uh, because it's like donut, macaroon, like all of my foodie scents. Um, fresh Sheets. Oh my gosh, I got a gift to return this one. I don't like this one at all. It's crisp citrus, clean lavender, and watery apple. It smells like awful cheap laundry detergent to me. I just don't like it. A lot of people love it. So it's, 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 <laughs> I'm the problem. <laughs> the Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> I don't know why. Some reason my nose just doesn't like, uh, this fresh sheets, but, uh, 43 other people gave it a five-star review, um, and maybe I'd like it better burning, but I just have to laugh because I definitely, <laughs> I'm like the one who doesn't like it. So don't not get this candle just because I don't like it. <laughs> you may love it. Um, what I like, I, I really love um, the Golden Honeycomb. This is like one of my favorite candles for spring. I love the honey. It's awesome. Uh, pink watermelon is always a really good choice. Um, I love pink watermelon, cinnamon spice vanilla, raspberry and whipped vanilla. Um, that's about what we have for fruity. No real bakery though. There's nothing bakery. There's like fruity. Um, nothing bakery though. Uh, Sunset Desert. Oh, where did Sunset Desert go? I need to review that one. Here it is. It's right here. I really like this one a lot. It smells like a craft store to me. It smells like a fall scent. It is juicy pomegranate, cracked pepper, and rich patchouli. This one I am like totally digging. I gotta review this one. Pink lavender and espresso is really good. Sprinkled birthday cake is a total yay for me. That's the other kind of bakery one that's around all the time. Um, I personally like the blueberry marshmallow bar. This had mixed reviews. I love this one. I think it's really good. And then of course, one of my favorites, pink lilac and vanilla. This is very Eastery. And then, of course, we have um, these destination candles, Springtime in Paris. This smells good if you like the florals. It's a little too pungent for me to burn, but I like smelling it. I'd use it outside. Uh, lavender vetiver. I need to review blush geranium and fern. Flower child is pretty good. Um, vanilla and peach tea. And then we get into our white barn, like your black cherry Merlot. That's a fabulous one. Sugared lemon zest, um, cactus blossoms available in there if you couldn't find it in the Michael R. Carby. Uh, strawberry pound cake's amazing. Ice dragon fruit's a good one. Vanilla bean. So go to like page two and three. You might find a little bit more um, older candles of what you're looking for, like blueberry marshmallow bar. Paris Cafe. Yeah, don't forget about your Paris Cafe. That's your coffee candle. Um, bourbon, pink apple punch, warm vanilla sugar. Um, so it's kind of like a yay sale, yay not sale. I mean, it's it's like if you like the tropicals, you're going to love this sale. Um, but a lot of people are just holding off for summer because they want something a little bit more like foodie, which is kind of me. So again, do you shop? Do you not shop? It's, it all depends on, you know, what you like, but I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts on a couple of the suns. I got to get reviewing because I got a lot of candles to review. I hope you're having a good Thursday. I will be back later. We're going to talk about body care. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.